Hello, everybody. Hey, moms. I have a little notification on my phone that I'm going to try and get rid of here just for a second. There we go. Oh, it's back again. Ah. All right. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully if I move my phone just a little bit on my tripod, it will go away and we'll be good here. Welcome to our author chat, author interview with Kristen Helm. She's going to be joining me shortly when we um, get going here, but I started a couple minutes early just so I could be ready for her right when she um, joins us. I'm just going to make sure that I am live in the Stay at Home Mom Share Together group, so give me one second to check that. If you join me live, leave a comment, say hello. So the end, um, let me know where you're viewing from. I've got someone I just added to the group here. All right, discussion. Let me just make sure that I am live and then we should be good. There we go. All right, it's showing up for me. So yeah, as you join me live, say hi, leave a comment um, with where you're viewing from, how old your children are, and how long you've been a stay-at-home mom. That would be really interesting for all of us to share because we're in different seasons of motherhood, different um, seasons of parenting. But today, specifically, we're talking, um, I'm going to be talking with author Kristen Helms, who um, was a contributor to the Stay-at-Home Mom Survival Guide. Um, she wrote the book From Boardroom to Baby, A Roadmap for Career Women Transitioning to Stay-at-Home Moms. And even if you um, have been a mom for a while, there's a lot of benefits in this book for you. Um, just for focusing on affirming yourself in this role and um, remembering your why, your reason for choosing this. So to um, briefly, for those that do not know me, my name is Jamie Erickson. I am the admin of this group and the um, owner and um, primary blogger at the Stay at Home Mom Survival Guide. This group is a spinoff of the blog so that we can all kind of meet together and interact in a little bit more personal level. Um, I've been a stay at home mom for over 10 years now and I got to know Kristen um, through the blogging world. She um, was a writer and a blogger and then um, wrote a book and I'm gonna let her introduce herself a little bit more here. So I'm gonna add her on. The video will probably go, uh, let me see if I can add her. It's showing, sorry guys, we got fingers in the way here. Sometimes the technology's a little interesting. Let me try and move this just a bit. All right, I know Kristen, I saw you like the video. I know you're there. Okay, we just have to make sure that I can add you on here. Once it shows up for me, then I can do that. And um, when I add Kristen, the video will freeze for just a second. Um, so I'm gonna stop talking at that point. It's still not letting me add you on for some reason. Hey, Trisha, thanks for joining us. All right. Hmm. Um, let me see. I've got, I see Trisha on there. I see th a few more viewers, but it's not giving me the option to add you, Kristen. Um, If you're viewing from a device, it should give me the option to add you on. Sorry for the delay, guys. We'll get this figured out and get Kristen added. Um, just a second. I think you just have to have your camera enabled. That might be... Um, one of the tricks we could use to be able to add you on. Either that or join from your phone, um, and that might pick up a little bit more easily. Hey, Hope. It's nice to see some familiar, um, familiar names and faces viewing. We're just trying to get, the, um, get Kristen added to the video here, and then we'll start in with our author interview. It's very exciting to have Kristen joining me. 
Um, I think what I might have to do is restart this when all else fails reboot, right? Um, Kristen, if you're still watching, will you um, just post a comment and let me know? Oh, there you are. I can add you. Hooray. I should be able to add you. Bring Kristen on camera. All right, it is adding Kristen. Gotta love technology. <laughs> Let me just move this around a little bit. There we go. So Kristen should be able to join in just a second. Kristen, do you see the invitation for you to join? It's showing me that it's adding you. I'm just gonna check on my computer here too, just to make sure. Sometimes, depending on the internet signal, it can just take a minute. Let's see how it goes here. All right. Oh, let me try again. Looks like we got to try it one more time. Try adding you here onto the video. Get rid of some Hi. mess in the background. Hey, there we go. There we go. Sorry about that. I, uh, I'm on my phone now, so I think that's going to work. Better. No problem. I'm sure we're going to have a little bit of a delay here, too. Sometimes there's... Um, Delayed you hearing me and me hearing you. So if there's any awkward pauses, just know that's probably what okay. the, the reason is. <laughs> no worries, no worries. I know this is my first Facebook Live, so I'm such a newbie. <laughs> ah, well, hey, we're inaugurating you in. <laughs> yes, exactly. Awesome. Welcome. I'm so glad that you were able to do this and um, talk about your book. Why don't you um, tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, just introduce briefly, um, you know, about being uh, your story and lead into the book, and then we'll go from there. Great. Um, well, thank you for having me. Um, so I'm my name's Kristen Helms, and um, as you kind of mentioned in your intro, I've been uh, blogging and writing for a while now, and I know I, I wrote for you for the Stay at Home Mom Survival Guide. Um, my background is in marketing. I used to do marketing for Hyatt Hotels um, in, in my past career life. Um, and then when my daughter was born in 2013, I stayed home with her. Uh, we've since added mm -hmm. a son to, my, to our family. Um, yeah. And then while I've been home, I just started writing kind of as an outlet on the side. So I started a blog, I started writing for bigger sites like your site, Jamie, Huffington Post, um, some different uh, websites. And then I really got this idea to do From Boredom to Baby to write a book. It's always <laughs> kind of been a life, lifelong goal of mine to write a book. So I just said, yeah. you know what, I'm going to go for it, like pitch it to some agents and see if anyone's interested. And then it, they were interested. So um, it all just kind of spiraled from there. And it's been so great um, just connecting with other stay-at-home moms and getting this message out there. Mm hmm. Yes. So what um, originally made you choose or get the inkling that potentially being a stay at home mom was going to be for you or what made you decide to choose that? Right. Um, you know, I was kind of taken off guard that I wanted to stay home, I guess, at first, because I was mm -hmm. just so invested in my career at the time. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, when my daughter was born, and, you know, I think all moms kind of go through that where it's like, oh, how do we how do you leave them? You know, mm -hmm. uh, you're so connected. Um, another thing is my husband and I were both raised by stay at home moms. Um, so we okay. really knew what that lifestyle looked like from the inside out. Um, and so we really found value in that. And of course, you know, mm -hmm. we crunched the numbers, we figured out that we could live off of one income. So we were you know, mm -hmm. fortunate to be able to do that. Of course, we'd have to tighten and cut back in certain areas, right. but we could uh -huh. make it work. And um, yeah, I just, I just kind of went for it. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so you talk in the book about finding time to write, obviously being a stay at home mom, you, you, go from or just becoming a mom we go from sort of being able to be so self-focused even if you're you're 
in marriage, for example, you know, you're thinking about your, your husband, your wife, your partner, and having to then shift to, I'm not the only one that I have to spend time on with thinking about and when you have this new baby. And so the, the big transition is, you know, how do I fit in time to replenish myself, to re-energize? So you talk in the book about finding time to write and how that was always an outlet for you. That's something that we have in common. I always had a journal next to my bed, even in high school, and I'd wake up in the middle of the night and just need to scribble out some things. Um, and obviously for both of us, that's continued into our adulthood and motherhood um, season. Um, so how often were you able to find time to write and kind of, um, recharge and spend that time in your, what you call your me time? Right. Um, it's so, the me time is so important. I realized, um, just because, you know, when we choose to stay home, that kind of becomes our sole focus, obviously. And so mm -hmm. it, at first mm -hmm. it feels unnatural to want to take care of ourselves or do anything right. outside of that realm you're like wait a second but I'm right my sole job is to be a stay-at-home mom but I learned that it's so important to fill your cup back up um mm -hmm. with whatever that is for me for me and you it's writing or on the side mm -hmm. you know so it was mm -hmm. tricky at first to figure out times you know windows to write because as we all know <laughs> you know motherhood's you know very all-consuming especially when they're young yeah. and um so and I I realized that it's really important to kind of be or adapt, you know, as things mm -hmm. change, because when my kids were younger, mm -hmm. I, I could write during nap times, which, you know, when they're little, they could nap for three hours at a time. And you're like, Oh, wow, right. I could, mm -hmm. I could write a ton in three hours. Um, and then yes. as they get older, you know, naps get a little shorter, maybe they go away. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I'm personally not a morning person at all. I know some, some people can wake up at like 4am and like knock out a chapter. I'm like, I can't do it. I try. No. Um, <laughs> can't do that so I'm more of a late night writer um, you know after the kids go to bed um, I'll take some time for myself just to just, just set aside some time to write and then also you know when I was writing the book and things I would escape on the weekends like when my husband was home I'd go mm -hmm. to the coffee shop mm -hmm. Sunday mornings and you know knock out some writing so just kind of you know uh -huh. as times change and as the kids are growing just finding those little tidbits of time um, for yourself and your hobby or yeah. your project yeah Yes, absolutely. You have to fit it into those little windows. Absolutely. For sure. So how did the idea um, for From Boardroom to Baby come about? You know, so yeah, exactly. So when I first uh, left my corporate career to stay home, I was pretty taken off guard with the transition. I just thought, you know, at first, I don't know, I think in being raised by a stay-at-home mom, I just thought that was so great that my mom was home with me all the time. But I didn't see it maybe from her eyes, you know, that, um, wow, you're leaving a career behind to stay home. And what does that transition look like? And what are you going mm -hmm. through internally? Um, mm -hmm. And so it took me off guard that it was a little harder than I thought. Um, so I started writing about that. And I know I wrote some posts in the stay-at-home mom survival guide uh -huh. kind of tackling that subject. I think one of the posts I wrote was coming to terms with life as a stay-at-home mom. And it just mm -hmm. kind of talked about some of the, you know, more trying things um, mm -hmm. that you you maybe go through during that transition. And mm -hmm. after I wrote that, I just got a ton of emails and a ton of people commenting and saying, you know, thank you for talking about this. Like, I'm also, yeah. you know, going through some hard times um, or hard time transitioning. And anyways, it just started this great discussion. And then I talked to, you know, some mom friends, here in San Diego, who were also going through, through that transition and just kind of some of the difficult mm -hmm. things that go along with it. And I thought, you know, this is a this is a bigger topic here. Um, you know, maybe let's explore this. And I knew kind of right then that I wanted my my first book that I wanted to write would be about this topic just because I had, feel like I had a lot to say about it. Uh huh. Yeah, absolutely. You're with your, of course, with your background too. You're like the perfect person to write this book, really. Um, and I felt that reading it too. That, oh, thank you. You know, meant to come from you, really. Um, so I love the affirmation sections. Um, as you get into the book, I expected something different, really, when I was reading it. Oh, really? And then yeah. So interactive in a good way. Yeah. Um, it, it was different in a good way. And it becomes w much more interactive and self reflective than I at first thought it was going to be. So I love the affirmation, affirmation sections 
where moms can literally jot down, or I was taking pictures with my phone reading this, like, oh, I've got to gotta share that. I've got to share that. Oh, those great. Uh, yeah. of affirmation. Where you can jot down your favorites and post them in places where, you know, if you have to run to the bathroom to get a breather. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> there on the mirror yeah. and you can read them. Remind yourself why you're doing this, that it's valuable work was speaking affirmations to yourself a way you kept focus on your why for staying at home? Absolutely. Um, I realized too, so in our past career lives, we're so accustomed to receiving like praise and you know, pats right. on the back from bosses right. or peers or things like that. And when you're a stay at home mom, that's a huge thing that suddenly goes missing. So mm -hmm. it's so important to kind of show up for yourself and give yourself mm -hmm. those affirmations and your, mm -hmm. give yourself those pats on the back. So I knew I wanted that to be a big part of the book because that is such a shift from what you're used to, you know, getting outside mm -hmm. reinforcements to now you have to provide yourself with um, like the good jobs and you're doing great and keep going. Um, so, yes. so yes, I, I, and I have, you know, when I first made that transition in 2013, 2014, I did realize like, okay, I need to give myself these same feelings of, you know, boosting myself up and keeping myself going. Right. So, yeah. That was a huge, right. important part for me to include. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So another unique and beneficial way the book is laid out is that it is more of a workbook style that you can work through it while you're reading. Um, so for busy moms, that's obviously really helpful, too, because um, reading time can be infrequent. You can't always read a book from start to finish in, you know, right. two, three days' time. Exactly. It take a few weeks to work through. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, but each chapter really is almost standalone, and, but while it's still all connected to the whole. And it does help us really solidify our foundation of stay-at-home motherhood and that mission statement. I love that you say that in there. Write your own mission statement. So was it important for you to have the book um, be structured in this way, that it was more interactive and like a workbook? Absolutely. Um, and I think, um, you know, the way it's structured, each chapter really, tackle, like you said, tackles completely different topics. So you mm -hmm. don't have to necessarily read it in order. And like you said, busy uh -huh. moms, I wanted them to like look uh -huh. at the chapter guideline and be like, oh, I need this chapter today. Or, you know, mm -hmm. I'm really going through mm -hmm. this. I want to know more about this. Um, so that was important to me to have each chapter really stand alone. And then also mm -hmm. the, the exercises, you know, I realized, you know, throughout the book, I kind of say what has worked for me um, as a stay at home mm -hmm. mom. But I realized that what works for me is not going to work for every mom. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, everyone has their own journeys through motherhood. So the exercises are really to help you define your own path through motherhood. So it just asks the right questions to get you thinking about mm -hmm. things and to make mm -hmm. you kind of tune into yourself and, and ask yourself, you know, what do I need in order to thrive? What do I need to be the best version of myself as a stay at home mom? And mm -hmm. what do I need for me and my kids? So it really like it asks the right questions. Um, so that was definitely important to me that just to get that message out there that, you know, no, there's not one right way to be a stay at home mom, mm -hmm. like make this mm -hmm. journey your own for sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So the end of the book um, really is like a quick start guide for building an at home business, which of course many stay at home moms never ever build an at home business and are very successful right. and thrive yeah. in that role. And um, there is also the option of, finding something you're passionate about, finding a hobby and turning it into a side business or even a business that transitions into a full-time spending of your time whenever that fits in for you. Um, so I really like that part of the book. I love that your emphasis is on being um, a stay-at-home mom first, yeah. focusing on motherhood first, and that that is the priority and that work really needs to kind of balance out with that. Um, that was a, a difficult transition for me. I kind of surprise jumped into, you know, a work at home situation without really intending to go that route. So was balance easy to come by for you or has it been a bit of a like touch and go, feel it out totally. process? Right. So it's, it's been kind of like trial and error. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, you know, you just kind of try different things to see what works because, and, and like you mentioned, for me, you know, starting a business from home, um, when I started Tribe Magazine, 
it was, you know, I'm a stay at home mom first, and this is mm -hmm. going to be my side project that sure, I'm going to make some money from it, but I'm, it's not like a full time position for me. So I think mm -hmm. it's important to set goals for yourself, like realistic goals mm -hmm. in the beginning. Like mm -hmm. if you really have like no other help with ch with childcare and like you're just right. during nap times, don't expect mm -hmm. like to, you know, suddenly grow this huge business, you know? So just, you know, st stay in tune to like what your main goals are. So, you know, my right. main goals were I want to be a stay at home mom first and have a side mm -hmm. business. So just kind of mm -hmm. finding the time to fit that in. And, and like we talked about, nap times or like the sacred time yes. to get things yes. done um and then you know at night you know I'm more of a night person so working on the business at night on the weekends when you can and then you know as yeah. I started you know growing my writing career um and getting more like paid gigs I was able to mm -hmm. have um a babysitter come once a week mm -hmm. to care for my mm -hmm. child so those were kind of like the boundaries I set um uh -huh. for my own situation but it's I was you know obviously everyone has their own um goals and everything. So just kind of figure out what you, what your goals are and then kind of set up your, your time to, to, to mirror that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yep. And day by day it might change. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> be flexible. If anything, just be flexible. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm such a schedule lover and that just goes out the window. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. Me too. It's like, right. It's like life happens when we're busy, like making plans. Right. Yes. It's just, it's uh -huh. <laughs> All right. So what do you most hope moms take away from, from boardroom to baby? You know, I really hope that they just take away that, you know, what they're doing day in and day out as stay at home moms matters so much. You know, sometimes you don't feel like you're the work that you're doing is noticed or, you know, no one's there again to pat you on the back and say good job, but just what you're doing yeah. for your family and your kids, like it really matters. And just mm -hmm. to, to know that, to know that for yourself and, um, you know, and also, you know, one of the big things I want moms to take away from this is to focus on self care too, because I really believe that, you know, when you are thriving and happy, then that really permeates through your family. Um, mm -hmm. So just to make sure to fill your cup back up, whether it's, you know, a hobby or a side project project or a business, mm -hmm. And kind of nurture that because when you're thriving, then your family's thriving too. Right, right. All right. Well, anybody who's viewing live or who watches the replay, feel free to comment with any questions for Kristen or about the book. Um, we have, you know, just a couple minutes left here where we can cover some of those or she can cover some of those. Um, but if you watch later, please feel free to comment later too. Uh, we'll be monitoring these as they come in. Um, Kristen, I want to say a big thank you to you for taking the time to talk to everybody here today and join me on the video. Oh, of share course. Your thank you so much for having me. It's been so fun. My first Facebook Live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll never have to do a first ever again. That's true. It's yeah. <laughs> So you can actually get your copy of From Boardroom to Baby on Amazon. I can put a link in um, the description of this video so that it's easy to find later on. If you come back, um, you can search for it on Amazon too. It's easy to find. Um, Kristen, thanks for all the encouragement you are giving stay-at-home moms. Um, that's why I started my blog too. So that's where my heart is. Um, oh, and being here today too. Thank you so um, much. I want to just, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I was just saying thank you. You've always been such a big supporter of me and, you know, working with you at the Stay at Home Mom Survival Guide has, was really inspiration for me to do the book. So thank you to you um, just for being such a great partner in all of this. Oh, it's fun. It's fun getting to work, um, work together and connect. I, we lived in San Diego, very close to, you know, fairly I close know. to each other. Now I don't live there anymore. And I know. <laughs> life as moms that's how it goes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to tell everybody have a great day um thank you for viewing uh go get from boardroom to baby next week we actually have another author um as our guest in this group for another um author interview so stay tuned for that event info um Kristen have a great rest of your day and you too. weekend coming up you too thank Thanks you again. so much Jamie okay bye-bye bye, -bye. Sure. bye.